In Genesis 17, God commanded circumcision for Abraham and his household, but also for all generations that would follow. God said in verses 17 and 18, And I will establish my covenant between me and you and your descendants after you throughout their generations for an everlasting covenant to be God to you and to your descendants after you. And I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land of your sojournings, all the land of Canaan, for an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. I have two reasons for doing this little Bible glimpse on circumcision. The first is to emphasize that it's not a command for Christians to observe, nor is it something Christians must avoid. The second reason is to understand the significance of something that might otherwise seem quite arbitrary. I've heard people ask if circumcision is wrong because they've read passages like Galatians 5 and verse 2. Behold, I, Paul, say to you that if you receive circumcision, Christ will be of no benefit to you. If you read on, Paul is clearly talking about keeping the law for the purpose of being saved by that law. For the Galatians, that took the form of accepting circumcision. And as Paul says in verse 3, if you accept circumcision for that purpose, then you will have to keep the whole law. It helps to know that circumcision was actually a token of the covenant that God made with Abraham. Israel was to associate circumcision with that promise. Their part was to circumcise every male, and God's part was to give them the land. So before Israel could possess the land that God had promised to Abraham, according to that covenant, they had to be circumcised. We read in Joshua 5 and verse 5, For all the people who came out were circumcised, but all the people who were born in the wilderness along the way as they came out of Egypt had not been circumcised. As a result, Israel had to circumcise those males who had not been circumcised yet. And it wasn't until then that they were able to enter in and possess that land. So that's a short glimpse of the reason God commanded circumcision.